IMPD arresting a 62 year old man today after police say he left his dog out in the cold to die. Meanwhile, animal care workers say they're taking in dozens of animals who survived the frigid air. Wish TV's Tim McNicholas visited that shelter today. And Tim, this has been a busy week for them. Yeah, animal care workers say they got a tip Tuesday afternoon that Remy was out in the cold. They're responding to so many calls they could not check on that dog until Wednesday afternoon, but Remy was already dead. Her owner told police he found her frozen Wednesday morning and put her body in a dumpster. You're looking at a packed house. The Indianapolis Animal Care Services staff says they are at capacity. What's he doing, big handsome? But Deputy Director Katie Trenopol says more animals could be on the way. She says the agency is currently working to respond to about 450 pending cold weather related calls or tips. It does back things up. Um, we have, you know, our officers working 24 hours a day. We have open overtime right now. Trenable says they're relying on help from IMPD and the nonprofit FIDO. But still with that, our response times about two and a half days to get out there for these dogs. Remy did not make it to the shelter after police say 62 year old Gordon Turrentine left her outside. In a separate case, investigators found another dog Wednesday shivering outside a home. That dog wound up in the shelter. It's emotional for all of us that work in this building, but for our officers especially, they're out there dealing with these elements and they've seen some really horrible cases so far this year. Now, Trenable says the nasty winter weather is also keeping people from coming in and potentially adopting animals. In an effort to open up space, they're offering adoptions for $14. That price includes vaccines, microchips, spay or neuter, and pet insurance. When we reach capacity like we are right now, lives depend on people coming in to adopt. The staff is fielding so many calls that Trenopol is asking people to only call in if it's about a serious issue. She says the staff needs to use their limited resources to get the dogs that need help. Animal Care Services is also looking for donations and volunteers. I'm Tim McNicholas, Wish TV News 8.